Doma Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, that's exactly what I get. That's exactly what I get, right? You know, like we had a nice boxing evening. You know, we had uh, Bivol versus your boy Chalimba. And then you had Sergei the Crusher Kovalev versus your boy Alvarez, right? Now, I didn't do any predictions on it. I didn't say anything about the fight because I figured both of those fights very similar. And I figured it like this. I figured I didn't see any uh, punching power for the so-called opponents, Chilimba or Alvarez. So I was thinking, well, what you're going to have in both of these fights, you're going to have someone stalking the other guy uh, and the challenger trying to either outpoint him or survive, right? But you're not going to see either you know, Bivol or Sergei Kovalev having to be on the back foot. So I figured basically, I ain't going to say nothing about this. Let's talk about those fights after. And I'm not going to probably watch them live. I'll get around to them later. That's what I did. And let me tell you, we got a resounding boom. That's what I get, right? You don't know nothing. <laughs> yeah, Doma, you, that's what you get for going to eat on, on good fights. Just like I'm going to on Pavekin and Alexander Pavekin versus uh, your boy Anthony Joshua. I'm definitely going to get something to eat. It's already reserved in that time. But see, this is what happens. Now, the first fight, Bivol versus uh, Chilimba, <clears throat> uh, was how I expected it. B Bivol wins on on, punt, on, uh, on points. Uh, Chilimba, you know, definitely survived and gave him something to think about. You're not knocking everybody out. That's going to be good for the development of Bivol because you're not knocking everybody out. Bivol did what I thought he should have. After you see you're not knocking them out, you use movement and do your other things and win the fight unanimously. It's still winning a fight. Right, and it's good preparing you for not going out there doing a George Foreman and rum, uh, rumble in the jungle and think you're gonna knock everybody out. Be prepared for when that doesn't happen. And Bibble handles his business and wins unanimously. Right, so then we get up to the main fight. So, we got Kobe Lev, uh, uh, Alvarez, Elida Alvarez, baby. Uh, he stops Kobe Lev in round seven with a right hand and then a series of other punches after that. A rush, uh, real knockout. Nothing you can say about it. A stoppage win against Kovalev, and no one that expect that at all. Listen, let's be real here. We probably expected Alvarez to be able to box a little bit. Now he has a wonderful jab, and it's very fast. You'll miss it if you're not paying attention. He was jabbing Kovalev, but Kovalev was stalking him and threw a lot of punches at him, right? But oh, Alvarez get them hands up and survived, right? And then after that, it's a boxing match. And you saw with Alvarez his attitude. That was a key. After rounds, even a round or two that he lost, but he was in there. He was hyping the crowd on his way back, putting his hands up, making the crowd get loud, right? And those are the kind of things I like to see because that shows me a little confidence. If you First of all, you got energy to do that because people just, after a round, if you ever try fighting three round, three minutes, you ain't got time for do no, no antics on the way back to, the, to your stool. You try to sit down, okay, and recover. So that showed me something. Now, to pull out that right hand, Throw a lazy jab, pull out a right hand with all this power. Definitely knock down Kovalev. Kovalev gets up and gets knocked down again. And after the third time, it's over, right? No one expected. Huge. This is what you watch boxing for because, you know, things like this happen. Now, let's not get twisted. It's not a huge, huge upset, right, that Alvarez won the fight. What's huge is that he knocked Kovalev out. Because that's it for the crusher in terms of people running from you all the time. It's, they're on elite level because no one with 12, 24 wins with 12 knockouts are telling you that Alvarez does not really uh, have that much punch of power. Now, what I've heard is he had punch of power in the amateur. Something must have happened to his hand or something like that to where he's, you know, in the pros, he's being a little bit different. But he pulled that right hand out for Kovalev, gave him something to think about. Now, well, how, what, what happens with Kovalev going into the future? We don't know. Uh, you know, he can come back if he if he get himself together. That's no no problem. You know, things happen. It's just boxing. But for Alvarez, for a guy who was waiting two years as the mandatory for your boy Adonis Stevenson, waiting two years, right, and not getting opportunities and people not knowing his name and all those things, Elider Alvarez, right, this is not a fluke. The man's still undefeated. Now he's a champion, and now people got to come see him. This is what you want to see in boxing. It's my bad for not even telling you guys, giving you guys a prediction on it. But my prediction would have been, it would have been Kovalev on points or late stoppage. And the same thing with Bivol. 
It would have been on points and leg stoppage. So at the end of the day, Doma had it. Boom. I'm all happy about being wrong about this one. Because now, like I said, Evander uh, Alvarez is somebody who has waited patiently, right? And now people have to come see him. And I hope they come at him with some lucrative deals, right? Because he deserves it. So congratulations to your boy, Elida Alvarez. And Kovalev, you'll be back. Don't worry about it. You'll be back to kick somebody's ass, right? So it's no big deal, guys. But that's huge that Alvarez KOs Kovalev because don't act like you thought so before it happened. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about here, y'all.